more thrift store stuff. <laughs> I can't help it. This, uh, I went to the thrift store because I'm always looking for something. I don't always find what I'm looking for. But uh, this bag, nothing wrong with it. As, you just, as I say with my thrift store stuff, I inspect it real well. There's nothing wrong with it. Let me turn this off. Get that dull noise out of the background. But all the zippers, all everything works. And I went on a holiday. This says $1.99. It was actually a dollar. Everything was half off. So they stuck everything inside. Let's see what I got. I spent, I did not spend very much money. I got a pair of flip flops, real cheap, real light. They were 50 cents. I got another thing to hold CDs and DVDs. This was a quarter. I got another thing to hold CDs and, and CD player. It was a dime, so it was a nickel. I mean, how can you not, you know? Oh, this is another one of those things you can hang on the back of the door. This is made for shoes, you know, for storage. And again, some of the things might work for me. They might not work for me. This was 70 cents, so 35 cents. It's got to be some use for it. It's all about trying to find some storage. When you pay 35 cents for something like this, you can find a use for it. You can figure out how to use it, even if it if it's means cutting things up and, and finding little extra storage area. And the clear thing makes it a little bit easier. I think stuff like this is worth a shot. I got some scissors and I'm going to try to show you a project I have in mind. I've, I've cut these down. I'm going to leave this piece together. But here I have three pieces. This one has grommets on the top. I'm going to save it for another place I have in mind. But I'm going to try to show you what I'm going to do with these. And see if my idea will work. Okay, so there's what I've done. For 35 cents. I've made these. I just use these little clips so everything is removable. If when I'm driving I find that these create a problem, I'll just take them down, lay them on the bed, and then put them up when I arrive. But I can put all kinds of things in there. I can throw remotes in there. I can throw things in there so that they can be easily reached and gotten to. And the clear portion will make it also easier that I can see what's in each bin. I think for 35 cents, I have those two, I have the other one with the grommets, and I have enough to do three more. Some of these, this bottom one has two bigger pouches, but I can put them on the other side. I basically just cut across the bottom seams, and I did it quick, I didn't even do it like a professional. And then all I did there was kind of fold the top over the... Uh, side trays on this and use the clips. Piece of cake. Nothing permanent. So I think that might be a relatively useful idea right there. Plus I like the clips because I'm not a big fan of permanent stuff of taping things down or super gluing or or anything that will mark up the RV. So I like options like this and if I change my mind or if I find it doesn't work I haven't done something permanently or scarred the RV in any way. Okay, I got one of these, even though I already have one. Actually, I got another one somewhere too. But, it was 50 cents. And to me, it's all about trying to find places to store little things. And these can be put on the inside of a closet door or something like that pretty easily. And no stains, doesn't smell, it's all good. For... 50 cents. Come on YouTubers, RVers, everybody's. You can find deals out there at a thrift store. Okay, I found this. It was a dollar. No, it was 50 cents. And it is another one of those things. Hold on, let me open it. It's another one of those hanging bin thingies for shoes and stuff. And the tops of them have little things to stop stuff from falling out. Different Velcroable stuff on here. So, again, 
this was 50 cents. I can find a use for it, or I can give it to my uncle for his RV. Things like this come in handy for storage. Another project. This is just an expandable curtain rod that I've laid across the back of the RV. So I took that and put it there. I don't know if it's going to stay here, but it's an option. I took this other one and put it here. And what I also did to not mess up the RV is I just put a folded up some paper towel to put it behind the end so I don't mark it up. And I also made sure to lift it up above this tray on the side of my RV so that the weight doesn't mess that up. And if it doesn't work here, it doesn't work here. That gives me the opportunity for more storage. Whether this is the location, hard to tell. Probably not. You know, that back corner is a decent place to put stuff, but I don't know if this is going to be where I want it. I have room in the closet. I could set it up outside the RV if I'm staying in a place for a while. Just take this one and keep it outside and have bins, you know, so that the stuff that stays outside is all in one place. And if I rain comes along or something and I need to get stuff, I can quickly grab it. Shoes, you know, all kinds of outside stuff. So that's another use. Or I could put it down in the basement area on the underside of the RV and keep stuff organized in there. Lots of uses. But I got an idea for another location. We'll try it there. I could do something like this and get some more storage in here. Again, not sure if these are just going to end up in the closet. If I'm going to take them along, try them out, and, and it ends up being something that I don't use. But for the price... I was pretty happy with the possibilities of finding a little, little bit more storage. So it could work. There are ways around stuff. If you have a bigger RV with closets, these things are awesome for that. Just for organizing stuff. So just a couple ideas of ways to, to repurpose things. I found a couple, uh, a spatula and a big fork. For 50 cents again. 50 cents. Okay, more, which I don't even remember now. I'm at that point. It's Eddie Bauer. like that matters, but it's Eddie Bauer. It was kind of neat. This is a little bag for, like a cool bag. 50 cents. You know, you put some food in there, you put a drink in there, and you go out wander someplace. How do you pass up something that's 50 cents like that? Then you pay $20 for it new. So, all in all, YouTubers, I think if you uh, pay attention to thrift stores and, and have some ideas in mind and go in there with an open mind on topics that you want, you can spend next to nothing. You can also be spending money that you wouldn't normally spend, but turning ideas into practical ways to make your RV life a little bit easier is a good idea. You know, any of this stuff, if I choose to have my own garage sale, I could sell it for more than I paid for it like lots of people do at that thrift store because it's such good deals, especially half off. All right, so hopefully I've reminded you enough. I think I'm going to be off the thrift store kick for a little while, going to be away from it, and probably good <laughs> for me to get away from it. I've said in other videos, I never did the thrift stores before, but, but now I get it, and I, I go there. I usually have a couple, three ideas in my head of something I'm looking for, I don't always find exactly what I'm looking for, but I find things that I think I can turn into something useful. All that said, have a great and wonderful day. If I could only go back and get the money I wasted when I paid full price for everything.